Have you ever wondered what design criteria you should use for sizing the inlet line for a steam trap? Should it be velocity, or pressure drop, or should it be something different? The inlet line for a steam trap needs to provide two functions. It must drain water, and it must let the vapor flow back up the piping. The line needs to be free draining. We need to consider the fruit number for the inlet line. The fruit number is the ratio of the inertial force to the gravitational force. Experience has shown that a fruit number less than 0.3 is needed for a free draining vertical line, which permits the vapor to flow back up the piping. The fruit number is defined by the superficial velocity in the pipe, the pipe diameter, and gravity. The superficial velocity is defined by the volumetric flow rate and the pipe diameter. We combine these two results to get a useful equation, but we need to clean up the math and write this as a design equation for diameter. And voila! We have our relationship between the diameter, the flow rate, and the fruit number. We can set the fruit number to 0.3 and use this equation in several ways. We could create a simple formula for line sizing, perhaps in a spreadsheet or a, a, in a Jupyter notebook using Python code. We could create a graph. Or we could create a table to show the line size needed for the free draining condition at a given flow rate. The line sizes are a bit larger than we would expect for pipe flow. This is because the line flows partially full and the extra diameter is needed to prevent vapor locking. That's how we use the free draining requirement to size the inlet line for a steam trap. Check out my blog at kevindorma.ca for other engineering topics. Thanks, and bye for now.